how's it going? I'm back again on Sandy Bay Farm. So, I've got quite a bit more money since last time. I did have, I think, 160,000 on my last video. I've now obviously got 342. I've done quite a bit to make that what it is. So, since the last time, I've done quite a lot of contract work. Which you can see here, 39,000 on Wednesday, 26,000 on Thursday. And then obviously I've sold 200,000 worth of milk. And I also sold my Case International and swapped it out for this beauty. The Ford TW35. It's got more horsepower. It's obviously older, but I love it. It's a mod, but it looks beautiful. So that cost me 10,000 less than what the case did. So I got a return of 10,000 by swapping it in basically for this. So we're doing really well. The plan is obviously, like I said, to get some more fields and some more arable fields when the two that I've got at the moment go fallow. But we're on track. So the plan for today's video is the canola is ready to harvest. I've been waiting for this, so hopefully we'll get a good yield and we'll get some, you know, a fair amount of money for it, which will bump up our revenue and then obviously we can buy the fields that are required for next season. So the harvester we're going to be using today is the class Dominator 218. And it's a mod again, but it's a lot cheaper than the big beefy brand new harvesters and it's good for what we need we're all set up and ready to go What my plan is here is to go around a couple of times around the, around the edges and we'll probably let the helper then finish it off and as it's going we'll control the trailer and we'll start with the bailing. I know you're probably thinking how is he bailing canola? Well I'm using a mod that allows me to make straw, straw bales out of canola. It only allows you to get about half the amount of what wheat wood or barley or anything else that's naturally straw. But I need straw. There's a mod for it and I may as well use it. So I'll speed this up and you can see what I do.
gone round three times, that should be enough. I've set the work going in this top right corner here. Um, I had a problem with this trailer. I didn't realise that it wouldn't fit underneath properly under the um, under the class uh, harvester. So I'm going to drop this canola off and I'm going to change up, switch up to... I've got two smaller trailers, so I'm going to... So I'm going to put one on the fence that I'm in now and another one on the... Um, on the Ford. And what I'll do is I'll just use this one when I'm carting it over to the shop. Yeah, I really didn't. I, didn't, I really didn't think that'd be a problem. Hopefully I can do this in time before the work needs emptying. We'll definitely not have a problem with this one. Right, so I had to bring the baler over here just to fill it up with twine. So that's all filled up now. Yep, enough twine. So I'm going to start baling this straw off. So what I'll do is I'll speed it all up now from the start to finish so you can see the whole process.
So then, both fields are now harvested. Got a good yield off both. Total amount of canola was 111,000, which is great. And when the price is right, we'll sell that up. Uh, we also got bales wise, we got 43 bales from field one, the one I'm looking at, and field two over here, we got 30. So that's a total of 73, which is great going. So I'm going to leave the video here. If you enjoyed watching it, Please give it a thumbs up if you can, and also subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.